tonight. Housemates step back in time. But who will make a dickens of themselves? What the fuck is this shit? Dear 57, 9.33 a.m. The house has been set for this week's shopping task. All of the housemates are in bed. Victorian past, DJ. Oh, no, I've got nothing else to let a bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, look at the state of me. Look at the state of me. I've never actually looked this hanging in my leg. Look at Like, what the hell is that? I'm there. No, but look. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you don't look bad, you lying guy. You don't look. <laughs> Look how rough I look and I said, you don't look rough and then I started laughing, she laughed at her head out. And she went, you don't look. What's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> going on out here? Oh, oh we're laughing no. at Joe. Right, you better spill the binge. Oh, uh, right, gossip. Oh, let's hear. Yeah, we just cut up. Oh, that's oh. nice. All, like, that, all, all the eyes were out. It was well cuddling. Like, I was like, this is tickling it. Oh, please. I do that. I do that. <laughs> yeah. Jemima and Humpty Dumpty. Look. Did, uh, do you know what? It was just so nice to have a cuddle. Yeah. yeah. It's the first time in yeah. ages. It felt well lovely. Did it's you kiss? No. It so starts with a cuddle. Come on, wait. We're obviously yeah. going to need to... Oh, but, uh, this is funny. When we were in bed last night, he had his arm, like, stretched out, and it was, like, messing with the top oh, of no. my hair. Oh, no, how embarrassing. It's my half a wig, like, look at exactly. it. It's just bunging off my head. I was thinking, like, what are you doing? I don't know. It's <laughs> half a wig. I had to keep going to the tile, like, putting it back on. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that goes through that. So we'll have to buy some condoms on this week's shopping list. Nah. nah oh my god, no. Nah. How, mm. how, how crass. <laughs> what do you mean? Nah. I haven't mm. got no eyelashes left. I look like I've got the early stages of alopecia. Have a look. <laughs> you, sound, you know who you sound like? Sometimes Vicky Pollard, don't she? Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I bet they're all calling me that out there. No, they're not. It's only when you just. <laughs> no, I haven't. Think it's your hair like that. Someone's had a busy night. Busy night? Why? <laughs> you being in Corinne's bed. Huh. I love it. Everyone makes a big deal about it. She's fucking that hell. Saying you guys had Sammy Pepper sex. shares a bed with Rachel, and there's nothing fucking said. Yeah, but <laughs> Rachel doesn't fancy me, and I don't fancy Rachel. I think how it's. No, yeah, and no matter what happens, it's nice the way that it's quite nice and innocent. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Because he's really respectful yeah. of, obviously, you and himself. Yeah. And you are as well, so yeah. it's nice. It's not, like, gross where you think, oh, get a room, you two. No, we won't kiss or anything like that. You, you can't me. say that. People don't even fancy me. You can't say that. No, I doubt it. But, like, mm, yeah, it was good to be cut out. I don't know if anything will happen, but she only let him, she only um, built up the, uh, like the guts to uh, say stay in my bed because she was a bit tipsy. Yeah. And she even said that. It's like watching two teenagers go for the first kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> 
I wonder what he's like to cuddle. Love flare. Is he? Yeah. He's did he put his arms around you? Like, well, where did he put it? Round here? Um, round the waist or round the shoulder? First I was like lying this way, tickling like his side. Was you facing him? Was you spooning more like, position? I was there when he was lay on his back. Were you both facing each other? Um, at some point, thing. Oh no, no, we weren't, because oh. that would have been too heavy. I know. Breath and breath. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> Not this after I've been stuck in here for two months. <laughs> yeah. He was laying, and I was like, like, like this, and I was tickling him there, and he was tickling me. How did it first start off? As soon as we got in bed, he just had his arm like round oh. here and stuff. So I was laying it. I was he even holding hands and stuff at some point. Oh. Is that just me reading too much? No, that's it? a bit holding hands, you know. This is getting serious. <laughs> Ten twenty a.m. For this week's shopping task, housemates will be transported back to Dickensian times. Big Brothers provided housemates with period costumes. Oh, how oh, amazing! Wow. John James and Rachel are both taking the role of Miss Havisham, the jilted bride from Dickens' great expectations. Is, oh, oh, you got to be well. fucking Oh, these kidding boots me. are awesome, though. You got yeah, these shit. clothes are the shit. <laughs> oh, this this is... Oh. Hey, I've got some instructions if you... Yeah. Fucking prick. Yeah. I'm loving the boots. Fucking... I've got a wallet and everything. You've got a wallet. I've got what? a wallet. <laughs> Oh, These are cool little you got Cause you gotta pick the bucket or two. Oh, get fucked. I gotta wear high heels as well. <laughs> oh, two. Guys, you find the uh, rest oh, of the Oh, look at my hat. Yeah, 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 later. Have I got a jack? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna look like a ghost bride. I like that. To pass their part of the task, the Miss Havishams must spend 24 hours locked in a room together. Hello, John James. How can Big Brother help you? I'm not interested in spending the whole day with Rachel. She's got a motor mouth for one, so there's one thing. Two things I'm not interested in sitting in a, sleeping in a chair. Two, I'm not, three, I'm not interested in wearing high heels all day. And four, I really couldn't give a shit, to be honest. If I fail the whole task for everyone, then that's a different story, but might not be here on Friday anyway, so they can fucking jam it. What would happen if all the other housemates took this attitude and all failed their challenges? Well, it's a different story for them. They don't have to be locked in a room for 24 hours with someone that talks shit. Big Brother is not saying you have to talk to Rachel if you do not want to talk to Rachel. Oh, have you spent a day with Rachel? It's impossible not to talk to Rachel. You have to talk to Rachel to tell her to shut up. John James, all tasks are compulsory. Some tasks you may like, some tasks you may not like. That's right, and this is one that I don't like. Josie, I'm loving your dress. How are you going to cope without John now for 24 hours? Oh, you did. It's not going to be something difficult, is it? Let's face it. <laughs> I'm not happy about wearing... I'll wear the dress. I'm not happy about walking around in high heels. It's absolutely ridiculous. Have you ever worn high heels before, John James? What do you reckon? Big Brother is asking. No, I have not worn high heels before. You might like it. I highly doubt that. Big Brother expects housemates to rise to the challenge, whatever the task may be. And Big Brother hopes that you will give the task your best shot. Where are you going, Darren? Quit. No. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> Eleven oh one AM. This week, housemates are stepping back in time to enter the world of Charles Dickens. What the fuck is this shit? Big Brothers assigned housemates classic Dickens characters. Five housemates will become Fagan's gang from Oliver Twist. Andrew will play Oliver. Gia Gia will play the artful dodger. 
Josie will play Nancy. Joe will be Tom Chitling. Sam will be Charlie Bates. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving this. Yeah. Steve will become Bill Sykes. Corin is taking the role of Scrooge. Dave will be Mr. Bumble. Generositus Maximus. Mario will take on the role of David Copperfield. Rachel and John James both become Miss Havisham from Great Expectations. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. The housemates will have to complete six challenges, each worth £50 towards their shopping budget. Don't save yourself! Of us. <laughs> 12.15pm. Oh, that's the stuff. As Mr. Bumble, Dave must prepare gruel for the house made from oatmeal, water and salt. All housemates must eat the gruel three times per day. Looks flipping horrendous. Um, you know we're going to fail this task, but I don't care. We're going to try. Speak for yourself. We'll be all right. I'm not staying in there for 24 hours, Rachel. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now I'm not staying in there for 24 hours. I just think it's fairly cruel. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. You can care about what other people think, but I don't. I, don't, I could seriously can give a shit. Really? Nah. I think uh, it's cruel that, like... One, one, I, know, I know it's looking at it from a negative point of view, but one, we could be in there for 24 hours, chopped in a room with each other... Yeah. Um, um, ..while we're eating before. gruel and shit, in order to get 50 pounds for those fuckers, <laughs> when we might not even be here... <laughs> I'll fucking throw 50 pounds over the fucking fence in order to not stay in there. Right, you ugly lot. Food is now served. Gruel. I will come and serve it. Sit yourselves at the table. Great, thanks. Everyone get a nice drink of orange or something to wash each mouthful down with, because it's absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. It's the thing of it is a magic orange. I'll wash it down. It's disgusting. Guys, can we wash our stuff up, stuff up after us? It no, that's been so your much job. Practice. Yeah, we're not allowed to wash up. I am going to do the washing up. It says in your rules. Yeah, no, it does. Yes, we've it does. Do you want to have a read of it? Extra portions for you boys. <laughs> food, glorious yes. food. Oh, that looks fucking revolting. How so many of you got really Oh, I don't want to How much have you got to give us? No, just oh, a little no, wait, no, 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 if I don't eat that, we fail the task. Yeah, yes, Sam, you have to eat it. No, Dave, don't give me... No! Dave, Dave, I'm not joking. If I don't eat that, we fail the task. I'm not going to be able to eat that. You've got to do your best, Sam. You've got to do your best. Do the task, Sammy. Do the task. It's all about performing for the team. When they get that, and I Look at the task that you got. Look what I have to wear. You are fucking disgusting. If it wasn't so hot, Dave, you should have let it cool down for about an hour. One, two... It has to all be finished. I'll even have a spoonful. <laughs> Do you not have to eat it? Do you not have to eat yeah, it? Yeah, he does, he does. You've all got to eat it bowl. with it because I'm starving. <laughs> Mole, obviously, I love a little you bit more than everyone else. Look! Good old Mole. I've got more than him. <laughs> it's nearly fucking coming back up every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah mine too. Oh, shit. I just wait for my It's the way it goes down, it slides down. <laughs> you know, it slides down like a slippery, slidey oh, stuff. Take that, it's fun. I've had, oh, I've had, I've had, I've had. That's why you like it, isn't it, Joe? Because it's actually Joe. Josie's finished her Joseph fucking bar. Actually, it's actually Josie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, like oh, that. Monkeys. That's why you want to hear when you're a bloke eating this at the table. <laughs> Fuck you, that shit. Get off the bed. Shit. <laughs> I think I know what's coming. Please, sir. Can I have some more? <laughs> more! <laughs> 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 you had such 
in subordination. <laughs> one oh one PM Later today, Fagan's gang will be performing the Oliver classic Consider Yourself for their part of the task. To help them learn the routine, Big Brother has provided them with an instructional DVD and lyric sheet. The four's in the middle, but okay. we're concentrating that bit in the middle. So let's go, so let's go. One, one, I'll count you in on four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So three, four is back, yeah? As jilted brides John James and Rachel must spend the next 24 hours in Miss Havisham's dining room. Oh my god! You can't sit in this chair. Oh my god! I'm not sitting in here for 24 hours. No, it's not comfortable. We can see them on the telly. Is there something on the telly? Look, yeah, they're on the telly. Something on the telly. Oh, I I me in that. Yeah. It's well good in that room. Oh, no, <laughs> that angry as fuck. I'm getting angry now. That's okay, that's what you say. Miss Havishers are only permitted to sleep between midnight and wake up, and only in their chairs. I can't sleep. I, I can't, I'm going to be honest with you, Rach. I can't sleep in this chair. No, it's not. I fucking. Doable. I don't. I, do ca I can't even fly economy because I can't. This is worse than yeah, economy. If plane. we do that, maybe. <laughs> I don't really want to sleep in here anyway because it's really spooky. Like, look, look how angry he looks. So, sort out your boot race. What's the matter with you? Well, he's doing something he don't want to do. You know what it's like when that happens. Oh, what do you want to do? Because I'm not pissing about here for 12 hours if if we're going to pull out before 24. But I, I can't stay in here for 24 hours, Rach. I just can't. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the biggest. No, but luck like is the biggest bit of devastation <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't he crack a smile? He ain't like that always. He mustn't be like that always on TV, surely. Do you know how to play Cat's Grave? No. Right. you got to go through this. I do it like that. And we've got to keep the string going. And there's different ways to keep it going. Come on, you know yeah, you that's can. that's the thing at the end of the day. That's... It's funny watching it because you think, man, oh, years later, oh, like, oh, I think they'll get on in the end. I reckon they'll come She's out She's so good, good, though, isn't she? Because she'll yeah. carry on. She doesn't take it personal. I reckon they'll come out good mates at the end of it. <laughs> Sit <laughs> there. Oh, that was short -lived. enough. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. The, th the thing is, if I leave, then you've already failed the task, so it's up to you if you want to stay in here or not. Yeah, but we don't know that, though. For Do you want to go and find out? Yeah. I think we need to find out. Big brother! No, we'll find out. I'll find out for you. If, um, if we both have to be in here, then we'll suss it out again, all right? Yeah. All right. Maybe they could do it on an hourly basis, five pounds an hour. Task over. She does, Have you quit the task? Where are you going, Dad? Quit. Quit. No. Too bad. So sad. Everyone. 20, you didn't even do 20 minutes. You was in about 15, 20 minutes. We watched it all on you. Is it live? Yeah. 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 Hello, John James. If I leave that room, do we fail the task? The rules state that Miss Havisham's must remain in the task room for 24 hours. That's correct. And if either one of them leaves on a permanent basis, um, they will fail the task, is that correct? They will fail the challenge, that is correct. I really couldn't give a shit. So, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. So you are quitting your challenge, is that correct? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to discuss it with Rachel and see what she wants to do. In that case, the diary room door is now open. It's all well and good for him to have a go at people when they don't try. And having a go at me when I have a 12-year-old tantrum, but look at him. 
just because he's separated for a whole hour from his mm. from the greatest love of his life. After watching this, boys, I see him in a bit of trouble for Friday night. Is she staying in there, dude? She won't once she finds out that if I leave, we uh, fail the task anyway. Is she going to be able to pass the task on her no, own? No, she no. can't. So he might go back in now and stay now that he knows. Yo. I'm all right on my own, you know. I'm, I'll be um, absolutely fine on my own, honestly. If I, um, if I go, um, we fail anyway. <sighs> there is no way in a million years he's going to stay in here 24 hours. How do I fancy someone that grumpy? I'm not a grumpy person. <laughs> Go see oh. hill clicks and that. Shut up, Sam! Well, do what you're supposed to do then. <laughs> One thirty six PM. The Miss Havishams have been locked away in the dining room for 36 minutes. What do you reckon our story is then? Why are the two jilted brides in this room? This is obviously our wedding reception. I reckon you got jilted because you get angry. <laughs> I got jilted because I'm in the room with you. <laughs> could have been Jay, could have been Joyce. No, no. They had to stick me in <laughs> with the motor mouth. <laughs> I don't think I actually talk that much. Do you think it's just because, um, yeah, I don't talk that much? <laughs> Fagan's gang are rehearsing for their performance of Consider Yourself, which will happen later today. No, it's there, it's from there. Let there. me read the words. As as Sam, you're going to piss me off soon, I'm serious. Well, you're going to start pissing me off. You're trying to fucking tell us it all too quick. Some of the housemates are in the living room. Many, many, many. As Scrooge, Corin is in charge of the house purse strings and has many, been provided with 78 many. gold coins. Each time any housemate wishes to shower, smoke or prepare any food other than gruel, they must beg miserly Scrooge for a coin. Unbeknownst to housemates and Scrooge, she must retain at least 28 coins to pass her part of the task. What do you, what do you mean, fold by? Speak to me. I am the great David Copperfield and I need a gold coin to feed the masses. Will this be one gold coin to feed yes. all the work? Gener Generositus Maximus. Let me see. <sighs> Generositus Maximus. Now, worker, if I hand you this one gold coin, you do not remove yourself from the kitchen. Nope. I'll not be so kind as to give you one next time. I should just erase your memory. It's a good job. The weave shop has a 50% sale on. <laughs> Otherwise, you would not be getting this gold coin, boy. Thank you, Scrooge. Because there are more important things than you cooking in the kitchen. Thank like you, this stuck on my head. I'll be off with you. I've got money to count. Make sure and you no write it. Money to Bend. Make sure you write it in the ledger. And don't tell me what to do, boy. It never done you any good. It never will. Three fifty-six p.m. Fiegan's gang have been rehearsing for four hours and eight minutes. Yeah, so it's two, just two bobs after. Yeah, that, right? right. But wait, 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 wait. Let me just count these kicks because. I think we're doing a little bit too we're much. Doing, we need four. No, we're not doing enough, right. I think. No, we're not. We're doing too many, if anything. One, two, three, four, five. Four. Two, right. See, the fifth two, one turns into two, the first slow two, one. Two, so it's four. Two, quick play. Shut the fuck up. Steve has been given the role of Bill Sykes. Every time he hears the bullseye theme tune, he must make his way to the dartboard in the garden, where he must remain until he throws a bullseye. Oh, nice bullseye. Hey. What are they doing? 
Ben! Ne? Are we meant to hear that? I know. Is that our break? Hmm. Oh, there's something going on in the garden that we can't see. Let Woo! us out! Hey! Let us out! <laughs> what are you doing? I've got to try and get a bullseye. You sit there, bullseye, while I try and get a bullseye. Ooh, 25. Well, the flight's gone from that one. Uh, what I was thinking before is, um, if yeah. we are going to leave, right? Um, I want to keep this room able to come back into it, don't you? Do it before, um, do it before six so we get to watch them do their thing. Yeah, definitely. Do you reckon? I reckon, I reckon we just leave before six. I reckon. There's no way we get to go out there. I'll still wear the fucking costume or whatever. Yeah, we'll still do that. We'll still do that. No point just staying in here, John James. Huh. Both has a good, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd give a rip. <laughs> that'd give a shit. Uh, yeah, and then, and then that way we get to watch them do their thing and at least it'll be a bit better for us. Yeah. We've lost 50 pound, but we're probably not going to be here to spend it anyway, so who gives a rip? Forty-six minutes later. The Miss Havishams have been in the dining room for three hours and 56 minutes. Scrooge and Mr. Bumble have brought them some food. Right, right. I've had enough of you. Are you showing? Sure? I fucking can't. Um... Yeah, I'm out. Uh, the more I'm speaking about it, the more it's yeah. getting me angry because yeah, it's really shit. And like for yeah. fifty pounds for us to lose one day in a big and brother house. Yeah, nah. I wanted to do it. We was willing to do it, weren't we, John James? Yeah, I was willing to give it a crack, definitely. That you're amazing. Well, you've given it a crack. You've been in it I feel hours. really so sad that they've done that. I feel like close to tears all the time. I would have done it. I would. I, I would have had a, a goal, real, but this is tough. I feel like it's a real cruel thing to yeah. do, like. Draw a left hand in. I'll go with the old left hand. Bullseye! A left handed bullseye. How about that, BB? Not bad, eh? If I do say so myself. Left handed. You know what I mean? I've got to go back in again. You're going to do it again? You buggers! Take one of them. Come on, Mr. Bumble. We'll leave these in your field, you're going, definitely. Oh. Just, just find out. When we come back, we'll bring back, because yeah, I've got we'll to bring, bring it back. I've got to bring my toothbrush Ooh. and everything back. Something that smells. Oh, it's that plate. Did you get a ball, Dad? Yeah, I did. I got one. And the fuck he's thought that was it, I thought I was good. Ah! I mean, you mean you get another one? I have to go back. <laughs> oh shit! I can't call. Oh, they're coming out. Why? Why? They're closing you. Oh. Shit. Yeah, take that bit off. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're not happy about it. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Five or one p.m. Fagan's gang's performance will begin in two hours and 48 minutes time. Everyone just concentrate on their own character. It's not that fucking rocket science, Sam, come on. Yeah, I know. And that's it. Just need to fucking pull together now and get it done. David Copperfield and Mr Bumble are in the kitchen. Oh, Baron. Hello, John. I would have loved that task. I would have, I would have loved that one. Give that ball, so. Keep going. Nice, thanks, Mom. You're very welcome. I wonder if his live performance is still going to go ahead with the weather being the way it is. Are they going on now or are they arguing? Uh, a bit of a mix. I, think, I don't think any, any one particular person's 
causing argument. I think it's just the, the time constraint and the pressure and the desire to get it absolutely spot on. Sorry, Joe, sorry for fucking having a bit of a go. It's just fucking stressful, man. Yeah, the stress is getting to them. Right, so should we do a full run through from the beginning, yeah? It's, a, it's amazing, all of this practice and practice. And the actual dance routine, when it comes down to it, will be over in a minute. Hill clicks, choke Jelsea. Jelsea hill clicks and that. Shut up, Sam! Well, do what you're supposed to do then. For us to soak us in a rich and we can say, consider yourself one of us. Consider yourself. Is that right? Yeah. Consider yourself. No, Can I just say something? I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. All I got is saying, Jason, Jason, no, you you're not doing, doing that, Jason. Joseph, yeah, but don't. I'm oh, trying to concentrate course, on what Josie, I'm doing. Like, if anyone I don't else need, suggested it, Josie, you wouldn't I'm, have I said don't it. Need, just I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. Like all I can do is Jason, Jason, shut the fuck up. Thank you. That's what I want. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Well, don't call my name. Don't call my name in the middle of a routine. Come on, then. Let's get it done. Yeah, come on. Go, come on, come on, come on. Next right, don't shout right, my name, don't say anything. JC, we stopped this about 20 minutes ago, now shut the fuck up. Right, here we go. Don't be so rude, Sam. Sam, that's really unhelpful, just fun it. <laughs> so that's another 50 quid you're gonna lose us, John James, for being a prick. <laughs> Six twenty PM. Some of the housemates are in the living room. I have been given the stipulation I can put as much as I want in some people's and as little as I want in other people's. <laughs> so Sammy Pepper's not good for another bowlful. As is Mario after his antics yesterday. Well, if you're gonna be like that, well <laughs> you best watch out what's coming your way. Oh. Nancy and Miss Havisham are in the bathroom talking about Charlie Bates. He knows he's going to be out, of course he's going to be out. Even his good partner will fucking him out. <laughs> Even she's fucking not happy with him, he's got no chance. Yeah, she Ooh. called him a um, nasty little... Yeah, yeah, she put him up, no doubt about it. Everyone, like, everyone's going to put him up. In a way, I'd love to be up next week. I would love it, and I would love. I would, do you know what? You know, I love to slap his name on the board. Oh God, I would read. Really, do you know what? I bend over backwards and let me and ask to try and win that task. <laughs> to just <laughs> put his name on the board. I'm glad he put you up. Thanks, Sammy Pepper. Oh, you can put me up next week, Sam. I'll be up yeah, three I might week. as well. I'll be up three weeks in a row. No, but you'll be gone Because I, gar I guarantee you, you will be wearing be the red put... suit Tuesday. I won't be able to put you up and you won't be here to see it. You'll be watching it a day later because you'll be at home watching it. It is a foregone conclusion, show. my friend. Slight issue. Go on. You're going home on Friday. Oh, thanks, Sam. How would you feel about that? Slight issue for you. You'll be going home a week Friday. Um, and that means you would have been here two weeks and, and got voted out and hated I by everyone. I stayed, here I stayed here nine weeks. I stayed here nine weeks. That means I you lasted here close two to weeks. the final. Two. No, two. it doesn't matter. Look at it's this, I've got many fingers. Two. Yeah. Watch all my fingers yeah. now, for me. Nine. Look at all them fingers. Oof. If I had enough fingers, I'd put days up. If I had enough fingers, I'd put days up. I'd put 14 up for you. Yeah, then I can come and find you, and then you'll find you up for me. crying in the corner 14? of some gutter with no 14? followers. All 59? your followers are gone. 59? 14? Who stayed here the longest? Mm. You're not handling oh, this very well. Dave, you're not this handling one. this very mm. well. Dave, oh, Dave, me! You're not a better person me. for this, are you, Dave? <laughs> you're not handling it very well, are you? You've got till the end of today. You're not handling it very well. <sighs> I think I'm doing pretty well, so. Have you been eating a lot recently? Because you're really starting to put weight on again. <laughs> well, I have ate too much today. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. You're not handling this very well, are you, Dave? I'm not, no. As some housemates have broken the rules regarding the discussion of nominations, they'll be punished. <laughs> 7 or 4 p.m. All of the housemates are in the living room. It's been two hours and seven minutes since the Miss Havishams quit their part of the task. You waiting to go in again? Yeah. Who means I'll move your bed in there and just pop up and see us every now and again. 
Yeah, you got a problem with it? If you get time, like. As, as, I mean, as, you know, if you get time. You know your little tag on the back of your bed, John James on it? Has the mini Big Brother's got something to say about it, or...? You put it on the dining room door, mate. Any of the Big Brother's got something to say about it, or...? Should we change that eye to a picture of your face? Well, got, well, they've, got a, <laughs> well they've already got your portrait up in the fucking bedroom, so I don't see why not. Who? You. That yeah. clown, that's got to be you. Oh, here we go. Anyone else? Here we go. Anyone else? No, nah, didn't go. think so. That's You've right. turned into a bit of a prick recently, haven't you? <laughs> You used to be a nice lad, now look at you. Too much pressure. There's no fucking pressure on me. This is Big Brother. Housemates are reminded that all housemates must wear their full costumes at all times, unless in the shower, pool, or sleeping in bed at night. John James. So that's another 50 quid you're going to lose us, John James, for being a prick. You on a phone to call someone who cares, or...? Just put your costume on. Yeah. Stop being so fucking vain. <sighs> You know where the fire exit is? Yeah. I've been through there once Get before. Get your high heels on and walk out. I'll just leave them where they are. Just go and put your costume on. Hey? Just go and put your costume on. Just fucking wait, you little prick. Fucking hell. Who do you think you are? Coming in here fucking telling everyone what to do. Seven forty nine PM For their part of the shopping task, Fagan's gang must stage a performance of Consider Yourself. Here we go. Good luck guys, you're gonna be brilliant. Consider yourself at time. Consider yourself one of the family. We've taken take to you, so strong, it's clear, we're going to get along. Consider yourself, well, <laughs> consider yourself, part of the furniture, we the lots to spare, who cares, whatever we got to share. <laughs> For Fiergan's gang to pass, the video of their performance must receive 100,000 views on the Big Brother website by Friday. Consider yourself out We don't want to have no fuss For us to self-consider We can't say, consider yourself Part of us <laughs> Fuck it out, that was scary. Yeah. 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 Well done, guys. Hey. That was awesome. Well done. Yeah, well well done. done. yeah, that was the best. Well done, guys. Oh, I messed up in it a little bit. My hat went That's over the roof. Part of it. Yeah. Did he go in there? No. Yes, he did. He got everything. No, he did all right. Maximus. <laughs> 8.22 p.m. Scrooge and Tom Chitling are in the bedroom talking about the artful Dodger. I don't think he thinks something that way at all. I can't see it whatsoever, do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd know well by now. I just would. Oh, but it was good today at his dancing. He's very talented. Mm. For a young guy, he's got a lot going on for him. Mm. Oliver Twist has come to the diary room. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, good task. Uh, the preparation was a little bit sketchy there for a second because uh, lots of people were getting quite tense and uh, there were a few arguments. And. Uh, I think in this case I actually agreed with Sam over Josie more because he was just trying to help us. I think Sam did actually quite a very good job. I think Josie today should have given Sam a bit of an easy t easier time, seeing as he did he did manage to get quite a good dance routine out of us. I think in the end, a little, little bit disappointed as well with uh, John James's and Rachel's effort. I mean, John James in particular didn't seem to even want to do the task before he even had a look in the room. Now he said he's not bothered in winning 50 quid. Well, I'd like that 50 quid for the shopping budget next week. 
But I think I think he's been in a bad mood for a while now. He's been swearing a lot more and seemed to get more angry at things. So, how do the other housemates feel about his efforts today? Uh, I I don't think they're pleased. Some are some are fine with it, but Steve and Dave, I don't think I don't think they're too pleased. Uh, I reckon JJ's pretty conflicted at the moment because John James is his best friend in the house, but then JJ has spent the last six hours working tirelessly to do this task and John James just gave up within 30 minutes. And I probably won't want to confront him over it either because there is a chance that he will go on Friday. If he does stay, I'd hope to change his attitude towards the task before the next weekly shopping task. <laughs> Ten fifty six PM Nancy and Oliver Twist are in the kitchen. There's a um, kid at school and he used to always call me fatty, fatty, fatty. Yeah, that's a, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. Yeah, oh fatty, fatty, fatty. And like he used to do it in front of this boy and used to really fancy. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, and so it, um, it's pretty similar to being back at school. Yeah, and one day, he, he, like, I was there and I was like in front of this boy and he used to really, really fancy. Mm. And he picked up a massive yellow bin, what you put rubbish in, just tipped it all over my ass. So and he was making fun of you. So this guy at school used to make fun of you in front of someone you fancy. Yeah, all the time. So and then he did that in front of, And like. <clears throat> and now you're in the Big Brother house and yeah, Sam Pepper like, is making fun of you in front of me. Yeah. yeah. Basically. It's been 40 minutes since housemates had their third serving of gruel. Mr. Bumble and Miss Havisham are discussing the portions that Mr. Bumble dished out for dinner. I looked at Josie just now when I did the food. She was like, so I just give her like half a scoop because we've got to eat some and we've got to finish what's in the bowl. That's the explanation. It's pretty straightforward to me. I've, I've, the three bowls I've had, I've, I've had it like two thirds and then I put myself an extra scoop in there and whoever else is wanting an extra scoop would have it. Because we've got, to eat, we've got to eat everything that's, we've got to eat everything that's in that pan. If you want to, tomorrow, we can do it exactly as you say. I will put no, two thirds in it. Well, it's not my task. No. You can do what you want no. with your task, and I can do what I want with mine. I decided to walk out of mine because I couldn't give two fine bucks. But you can do what you want with your task. It's up that's to you. Fine. But I'm, ask, I'm questioning you, just like you questioned me when I was in there, why I would walk out and why I wouldn't walk out. So no, now you I didn't question you. I didn't question you. No, I said to you, I said to you if you want to walk out, walk out. You, said, you also said that you would walk out if you are in the same position. I probably would have, yeah. yeah. So I don't give you that shit But there would have been other people that probably would have hung in there. And, I'm and, sure there would have been. Oh, that's but, it. But you can't, but you can't, you can't oh, banter John, someone. You're if, in one of these moods that you get into where you've got to find someone to argue with. And you've got nothing better to do than pick a fight. So you usually find someone that you can just have a go at. You came in there and you would have walked out yourself. I probably would have stayed there a little bit longer. You said in there. But there would have been people that would have gritted it out and made sure they stayed in it a little longer. Maybe not. So you some people in some tasks, position. some people in some tasks are stronger than others. So there are women out there that I couldn't give Fitman a full bowl of Fitman gruel to. They would spew it up everywhere. They wouldn't handle having a well, full bowl of it. You didn't mind giving Sam Pepper a full bowl. What? You did what? You gave him a bowl that was overflowing when we first got issued the task and we had the first meal of gruel. He got issued more than everybody think, else. You've got to think as well, a lot of it is just to do with the crack. No one wants to eat gruel. Sam's yeah. been winding us up for days. I say he and a lot, of it, a lot of it is to do with fun as well. Just have some fun yeah, with a yeah, guy. From the very beginning, everyone was stop issued arguing. different amounts of gruel. Stop arguing. Oh, so how did you know that they, stop, people, stop certain people arguing. didn't like it? What are you on about? How did you know at that point? At it the very beginning, matter. when we were all issued gruel. You think the women in here would want to eat? A full ball of But you don't know, you don't know. I didn't know what it was going to taste like. Just like everyone else didn't know it was going to taste like. You're making it sound like you learnt that as the time went on. Uh-uh. I watched. At the very beginning. I know, for a, I know for a fact, as I was going on, different people were saying How? they didn't... How? They wouldn't. I said that I didn't want any either, but he didn't stop you. You just fucking put it on my box. John James. Now, this is a conversation that. with you, Rose. It's a conversation with you. Yeah, but we haven't got a leg to stand on. We walked out of our task. You can't pull him down. I'm, I'm not pulling him down. We, I'm not pulling him down. No, no, it's all right, Rich. This is what he does. He sort of goes around and picks an argument. He's going there. He's nothing better to do. No, it's not that I've got nothing better to do. Oh, don't. John, get a life, mate. Yeah, exactly. Cheer up. Cheer up. Don't be so miserable. Don't feel you've got to pick a fight with everyone. You just have a smile. You gave different people different portions before the task had started. I just give you an explanation. No, no, no. I want if, you want to carry, if you want to carry on arguing, go out there, there's a lamppost out there, have a good argument with that. I don't understand. Because you get well, in these moves, John, where you've got nothing better to do than one argument. How did you come out with so you how did you come out the portions? You, you can't just sit down and say, Dave, do, can I ask you a question? Right, David, can I ask you a question? Instead, okay, David, instead you've you got to sit there, get an argumentative spirit about you and feel that you've got to tear, you know, just feel like you've got to tear a strip off someone.
12.15 a.m. Scrooge and Miss Havisham are at the carousel. So did you have a nice night last night with JJ? Was he nice to sleep next to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good to get a cuddle. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. I don't think you will be today. Oh, why? I know, yeah, but I don't want to look like a desperate old biddy. No. Do you want another cuddle right now? <laughs> you all right? He might ask you, you never know. I doubt it. Tom Chitling, David Copperfield and Bill Sykes are in the living room talking about the other Miss Havisham. It's funny, the kind of person that you can fall for, though, isn't it? Look how lovely she is. Josie is a lovely person. So lovely. Even she says to me, in, when he first was here, she said, but he's calmed down a lot. She says, but I don't like when he gets like that. Because he has got this really sweet side to him. Yeah, that's the side Mario likes. <laughs> I said he's got, he's got two names, John James, because he's got two personalities. One, <laughs> that's that's one clever. In. He's swaggering around here like he's a cross between Brad Pitt and Al Capone. <laughs> Swagger yourself back to Australia, love. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Steve, because he's got away with arrogance and argumentative too much. And he's always kicking off and going in there and just effing and blinding and moaning about this. Yeah. Just rudeness. It was but... bad. I just choose to ignore it. Yeah, I, I just no, I, 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 I don't mean I choose to ignore it. I mean no, but I know when I he, do. When he gets like when he gets like this, I, I would just ignore him. And that's why he came in and had that argument with Dave. But you, the bottom line is, he's an only child, and you can tell his mum's lovely and dotes on him. He's a bit of a looker, but what does that matter in the real world? In, don't matter shit. The big skates. Don't matter diddly squat. I don't want to feel like bad, like I'm slagging him off, but I'm, it's starting to grate on me. If one thing you ask any of my friends will great on me is arrogance and bad manners. Those two things rile me I'll better start changing my attitude then slightly. Yeah, you bloody better. <laughs> Soldier boy. <laughs> yeah. This week, Dave, John James and Rachel face eviction from the Big Brother house. Who goes? You. Decide to evict Dave. Call 090-113230004. To evict John James. Call 090-113230007. To evict Rachel. Call 090-113230017. Calls cost 50p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will cost considerably more. 15p from each call will be donated to charity. Voting closes in Friday's show. To find out how the nominated housemates are getting on, go to channel4.com forward slash big brother.